understand this. The word of God reminds us that in all of our ways we acknowledge God and He directs our path. Let us bow in prayer and pray. Gracious Father, we come before you today with hearts filled with gratitude as we gather here at this convention organized by the Presbyterian Primary Schools Board of Education. We thank you for the opportunity to come together as educators to explore the crucial topic, Every Mind Matters. We are thankful for the commitment and the dedication of the board and all stakeholders who have worked tirelessly to make this convention possible. Their vision to promote the well-being and education of all students is a testament to their care and concern for the young minds we nurture. Lord, as we engage in discussions and learning today, we seek your guidance and inspiration. May the knowledge and insights shared help us to better understand the complexities of the young minds under our care and so equip us to provide them with the support and nurturing the need to learn and grow, to become the teachers and the leaders of tomorrow. We ask for your blessing upon our efforts to create a safe and enriching environment for our students, where their minds are valued, their voices are heard, and their potential recognized. May this convention today be a source of inspiration and empowerment, enabling us to make positive impact on the lives of the children we serve, emphasizing that every mind matters. As we gather here today as educators, we come before you with open hearts and minds. We thank you for the knowledge and experience that we have brought that might have brought us to this point in our careers. We also pray for the wisdom to be open to new strategies and approaches that will make us even better educators. Lord, help us to recognize that while our past experiences have shaped us, there is always room for growth and improvement. Grant us the humility to embrace new ideas and the courage to adapt to the changing needs of all students. Lord, bless our efforts to equip the next generation with knowledge, wisdom, and the strength to overcome obstacles. May we be instruments of positive change, guiding young minds to reach their full potential and ensuring that every mind truly matters. We offer this prayer with a spirit of humility and a desire for continuous improvement in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who taught us the value of openness and growth. Amen. We now join in the hymn selection, Be Thou My Vision.
remain standing as we prepare for the national anthem of Trinidad and Tobago. Educator 
and church worker is also a uniformed scout leader. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I present to you the chairman for our Teachers Convention 2023, Mrs. Nirmala Chinibas Didia. Good morning. Right Reverend Daniel Chance, moderator of the Synod of the Presbyterian Church of Trinidad and Tobago. Mr. Aaron Ramratan, Director of School Supervision and Management, Ministry of Education. Dr. Joel Tilap Singh, our esteemed feature speaker and Doctor of Internal Medicine. Mr. Terence Ward, General Secretary of the Synod of the Presbyterian Church of Trinidad and Tobago and Mr. Michael Cooper Oching, Communications Manager of the Presbyterian Church of Trinidad and Tobago. Reverend Stephen Harry Prasad, Minister of the Diamond Pastoral Region and other members of the clergy. Mr. Martin Lumpkin, President of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association. Mr. Ashford Tammy. Chairman of the Presbyterian Secondary Schools Board of Education. Officers and members of the Presbyterian Primary Schools Board of Education. And officers and members of the Convention Committee. Retirees, most important people this morning. And other specially invited guests. Principals, teachers, members of the media. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I really didn't hear you. Good morning. Good morning. All right, give yourselves a round of applause. Be seated here this morning. Give yourselves a round of applause. It is indeed a pleasure to take you through the program today for Teachers Conventions 2023 with the well placed theme Every Mind Matters. It is a well known fact in our country that Presbyterians have contributed immensely to education. Do you agree with that? Our schools are in high demand, both primary and secondary. The sphere of achievements do not center around only academics, but also on the holistic development, charting the way for the development of citizens who can contribute to our society at large. I assure you that today will prove to be worth your while. I urge you to sit back and soak in every minute of it, because you will not be sorry that you are seated in this auditorium. So without further ado, I would like to invite Mr. Neil Forgeny, who will present an item after which our moderator, the Right Reverend Daniel Chance, will come to bring his remarks and to formally open today's proceedings. Good morning, everyone.
that God places on every human life. The pandemic, as we all know, coupled with the daily pressures of life, have inflicted upon us doubts, chaos, and confusion. Is that so? Yes. As voice in the song, you say in in Pinal and Pinal Rock, we call him Sunil. You know, members, hear what the songwriter shares with us. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I am not enough. But God says to us, you are loved, you are strong, you belong to a caring and loving God. In Him we find our worth and identity. The teacher who encourages, the teacher who acknowledges as well that he or she belongs to God can be used by God to fulfill the high calling as educators. The church continues to provide teachers with the necessary tools, tools which they require to shape and nurture the young minds in their care. Earlier this year, as a church, being conscious of the growing psychosocial needs, establish what is known in the Presbyterian Church at, as Bebrafa, House of Health. This is a body which seeks to help strengthen and guide persons to realize their true potential. At our 63rd Synod, to further amplify the church's mission to help people, a decision was taken that values for life program will be introduced in all of our 77 schools, primary as well as secondary, where teachers and students will be given the opportunity, will be given the opportunity to benefit from positive values, attitudes, and behaviors. Thus, empowering you the teachers, as well as the students, to develop what is known as our inbuilt capacity to help all of God's people. With these few words, I now formally declare the Presbyterian Primary Schools Board Teachers' Convention open.